Hi guys, welcome to All About Nursing, where we talk about nursing and we give each other tips and we do interviews, but you guys know this. And we talk about traveling, we talk about how to get to different places. And today's video, we're going to talk about how to migrate to Bermuda and how you're going to be able to work and live in a place that you can vacation. So you have to first go to the www.bnc.bm, which is the Bermuda Nursing Council website. You go on that website and the page, the application form is like six pages long. So pages one to three, you have to complete yourself. Pages four to six, your nursing council, wherever you are, has to complete it to verify that you are currently a registered nurse. This process takes about three months and it will cost you about 200 US dollars. Now, you don't have to wait before you do that to be able to apply on the company's, the hospital's website. Now, there's only one hospital health system there. So they have one medical hospital and one mental health hospital. So you go and you apply to www.bermudahospitalsboard.bm. You go on that site and you apply as a registered nurse and you fill out the information, you upload your CV, you upload everything, your references, all of that and then you wait for a response when they respond to you you will be able to have a job interview once you get a job interview most likely will be over internet don't worry you don't have to travel to go and have the interview they will do it online so once you are successful in this job interview then you will be able to have the hospital submit for our application for your work permit now you know a work permit is not a work visa a work permit and a work visa is two completely different things. So to get into Bermuda and work, you have to have a work permit as a registered nurse. It means that you'll be able to travel in and out of the country. Once you have your work permit, you'll be able to live there legally. You will be able to bring um, one spouse, I believe, which you can sponsor one person, either a child or an adult, and you can live there. Let's say your contract is three years. You'll be able to live there for three years and have a beautiful time. I lived there for seven years and it was awesome. I loved my, my experience. The country is beautiful. It's peaceful. Coming from Trinidad and Tobago, it is a completely different thing because Trinidad is very fast paced and Bermuda is laid back, really laid back. And when you work, you work, yes, you work a lot of hours. You have to work like approximately 140 hours a month and you don't get paid for your, your breaks, but it is a really nice experience. I don't regret doing it. I had my family there. I recently had a baby there. So Bermuda is literally what you see on television. You see the beautiful sea. You see the pink sand. It has so many beaches. You can go on and you can have fun. You could go and ride the dolphins. You can go to the crystal caves. It's just awesome. It's a really nice place. Plus, you can travel a lot because that's what we did. We traveled a lot. Like, you can go all over the world from Bermuda. You can go to as far as Dubai. Take a flight from there because your salary, baby, it will pay you. You will get that. You will have enough to travel the world and see different things. And I will tell anybody, it's a nice process. It's a nice experience. Try it out. But just remember, a work permit is not a permanent residence situation. A work permit is a temporary situation. So it's like a traveling nurse situation, but on a longer duration. So like how a travel nurse would work for 13 weeks at a location with a work permit, let's say you'll be working as a travel nurse for three years or two years or five years or whatever the work permit they grant you. So you don't go there and think you can buy a house and you can bring your children and your family and live this permanent life. It's not like that. It's a temporary situation just to make some cha-ching and get out of there. Okay. You can go to school while you're there as well. Like most nurses, that's what they did. They go on and they do their BSN and they do their MSN because as I said, in Bermuda, the cost of living is high. So you have to get paid to live there. Okay. Over time gives away. Like you can make that cha-ching if you seriously want to. All right. Like I was working ER to make money. I'm I'm working on the ward. I'm assigned to the ward, but I can work in emergency and do some OT. You make some overtime money, okay? Plus your salary, you could save at least, let's say, $1,500 a month if you know how to budget. And we know we have to talk about budgeting money, ladies, because we know 
we like to spend money as nurses we like to look nice we like to travel we like to do all the nice things buy fancy cars we like to just have fun so really and truly when you go to a place like bermuda you have to be strict on your budgeting you have to be strict on your time management you have to be strict on taking care of your goals and not get caught up in the laid back mentality and think well okay i can just renew my work permit you're not sure to always get back a job at the end of your work permit you're not always sure to be able to be like okay i'm gonna get back a contract for five years so my advice to anyone go ahead go to www.bnc.bm get your nursing license go over there apply for the job online get your job go over there make some money and move on to the next thing do not get attached and think oh i'm gonna stay there no no baby you can't stay there <laughs> it's not that's not how it works <laughs> so just to remind you guys all that asked me in emails how to get to bermuda oh i want to live bermuda i want to work bermuda yes darling you can work bermuda but you are to work bermuda on a contract and at the end of your contract if they don't renew it you are not to get upset you have to say, okay, this is the end of my travel assignment and move on to the next one. We are nomads. Do not get attached and upset if they don't give it to you. So remember, the steps are get your nursing license first or start the process of your nursing license so that when they interview you, you can say, okay, my nursing license application is in. I submitted it on February 10th and today is March 10th. So it's been a month. Okay. So they can help you get your license, get it done quicker, okay? Then you make sure and you do well on your interview. We'll talk about that in another, in another video, how nurses should sit and present themselves for nursing interviews, what we should say and how to create a CV because sometimes we have information we don't put on the CV, okay? Then I'm going to talk about how uh, your, what it's like to settle in Bermuda because it's, like, it's like going to be like a, how they're going to do it is they're going to assist you with your work permit. After they assist you with the work permit, and you get approved oh this is a lovely picture this is the bay of bermuda this is front street this is like sunset so you can see what it looks like in bermuda and yeah back to what i was saying so you have to remember when they do your application you get your work permit you have to come with some money you can't go to bermuda without money okay i will advise you to go with at least five thousand dollars if you can go with five thousand us dollars that will set you up properly even though they have apartments and they will help you, it's better for you to start off with your own money so that you can give yourself a good cushion. Now, don't go to Bermuda and look to get an apartment and have to buy all these furnishings. You get an apartment and you get one that is fully furnished so that you'll be able to leave when you're ready. Just pack your suitcases and you leave, okay? When you live there, you have transportation issues. So I'll advise you to take a, either buy a bike so you can mobilize yourself and move around a bike or a scooter as they call it or if you can drive a car you buy a car you make friends in the hospital because people are always leaving and they're always selling their cars or you go on emu.bm www.emu.bm and, <clears throat> and you will be able to see cars for sale you could get a car for like seven thousand dollars eight thousand dollars to ten thousand dollars and you can have that car for like three years, four years. So make sure and know that when you get there, you have a plan, a strategy of how to do things. Because remember, transportation is not reliable. So you'll want to be able to get to and from work on time. So you have your options. You travel with taxi, they're not reliable. You have the bus, it's not reliable because they are always on strike or the time that the buses is running, it's not the time you need to get to work. Because in Bermuda, a shift normally starts at 7.30 and finishes at 8 p.m. So according to where you live, you might not get a bus to get you to work and from work on time. So you make sure that when you get to Bermuda, you arrange to get your driver's license. You go to TCD and you do the driving test and get your driver's license so that you will be able to either ride a scooter or you can buy a car and a scooter you can get a scooter for like three thousand dollars two thousand dollars to purchase and you will make back that so don't, don't freak out at the numbers like oh my god that's a lot but you will make it back okay and once you do those things you'll be able to maneuver bermuda really good 
you will be comfortable you wouldn't have to be stressed out okay so all i can say is good luck and this is what the work permit looks like and remember when you have your work permit always travel with it because if you land in Bermuda without your work permit you will have to pay a fee so that's what I said a work permit and a work visa they are two different things a work permit is authorization to work and live in the country for a period of time all right so this was what you have to travel with like a visa you walk with this along with your passport every single time you leave the island because 200 US is a, not a little bit of money to be paying every time I land okay so good luck and i wish you all the best i hope you get through with the process i hope you understood what i presented to you today and look out for more videos with more information because baby we are about to pass this tea share this information amongst us because we need to let nurses know we are not going to be gatekeeping we're going to be carrying on this information giving everybody an opportunity to see and experience everything there is out there for nurses all right so remember nurses do it better and bye.